We're now going to take a look at how to insert an HTML5 video into your web pages. And this topic is a little bit more complicated than it sounds because HTML5 does offer a new video tag. That's the good news. The bad news is different browsers need different versions of that video in order to play. So it's not simply a matter of getting one video type and inserting it using the video tag. What we have to do as web designers is provide different formats depending upon the browser being used. So things are kind of back right where they were, complicated when working with video formats, just like it used to be prior to Flash. But I have this set up to make it a little bit easier for you to see. So what I'm going to do is create a new HTML page and this one's going to be saved. So I'll do a save on this one. And this is going to be HTML5 video. I also have some coding in here for you to make this process a little bit easier. Now, when we go to insert HTML5 video, we need a few different formats in order to be able to do it. And I kind of have an overload here of movie formats. And I did that so you can play with these if you need to or want to in other browsers than what I'm showing you. So within the movies folder, within the chapter 12 files for the course, I have quite a few different pieces here. I have this TXT file, a ping file, the FLV, a flash format, and then I have three other video formats. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Now there is moviecoding.txt listed here, but let me show you within Dreamweaver, if I go up here, the first icon is Edge Animate. We'll talk about that later, but here is an HTML5 video option. So let me go ahead and click on that. And you can see when I do, it gives me this little icon. Well, what exactly does that mean? Let's go into code view and take a look. What that did was added a video tag with a controls attribute attached to it. Now that doesn't exactly give me everything I need. So what I'm going to do is delete that. Now, if I click on that video control, you can see there's quite a bit of information in here. But what I'm going to do is delete that I'm going to show you another method. What I have in the moviecoding.txt file is some information and it's got a little bit of extra information in it for you. So basically it's that same video tag with the word controls. What that does is pull the controls out so you can control the video within the browser and there's a control feature within it. Notice here is a poster option. What that does is allow me to display an image as the first item when the page goes to load. But there are a few other features on this page as well. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and copy all this. I'll just use Control or Command A, and I'm going to do a copy here and go out to my page. And within the body area, I'm going to paste this using Control or Command V. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to show you some of this grayed out information first. So in addition to the basic video with the controls and the image that shows when the browser loads, I have the width and height, but I also have a couple of additional pieces in here, one of which is a hyperlink. And notice it says, use this link to test the browser support. So what I can do is go to this link, copy it, put it into my browser, and it will tell me if the browser supports HTML5 or not. It's kind of an interesting hyperlink, and this is put out by the W3C. So it's very worthy. The next piece is showing you an MP4 format. Now the MP4 should always be listed first if you're going to plug in these various formats. And you can see this is for Chrome, Firefox 21+, iPads, and iPhones. 
So that covers quite a bit of ground in that regard. Then the next one is a web M version of the movie. So I had to take my movie and create all these individual versions of it. Then I have this one for less than version 21 of Firefox. There's also another link in here. And what this does is see if the browser supports the WebM format, which is this format. If the browsers you want to target don't support it, then you don't even need to plug this one in. So what this is doing is kind of giving you some extra information that you can use when you go to work with HTML5 video. The last piece is actually a flash video fallback. And this shows you the code for it, but we can actually just use Dreamweaver's regular insert flash video in order to be able to work with this piece. So let's go out into the browser and see what happens just with this the way it is. So I'll go out into, let me try Internet Explorer and see. Nothing's happening. First of all, this older version of Internet Explorer doesn't support HTML5. So I know that for a fact, IE 7, 8, and 9 don't. So nothing's going to show. I don't really want that to happen on my web page. So that's why we want to use Flash as a fallback. However, the Flash fallback information within this particular file, if it doesn't work for you, what we want to do is insert it using Dreamweaver. So what I'm going to do is literally take the code on line 27 all the way down. I want to keep this video tag. I'm going to delete that. And I'm also going to delete this piece here because this is my FLV player that I don't need either. So what I'm left with is just the HTML5 piece. Let me do a save and let's see what it says. I'll preview in Google Chrome this time. Take a look at that. Google Chrome plays it. And guess what? This is actually the turtle eating. So this is a turtle eating, as you can see. Now, what format is it that Chrome is using? Well, if I right click and say save video as, or I could inspect the element, but I'll do save video as, notice it ends up in MP4. So that tells me this version of Google Chrome is playing the MP4 version. Let's go out to Firefox and do the same thing. I don't have any flash in this, so this is all being played by HTML5. So you can see this one is working just fine also. I'll right click, save video as, and this one is the MP4 as well. So just like the comment said, Google Chrome, this is Firefox version 22, so it plays the HTML5. Let's go out to Safari and see what happens. Within my version of Safari, it acts just like Internet Explorer, an older version. So Safari is actually going to pull in my Flash version as well that I don't have inserted yet. So what I'm going to do down at the bottom of this, directly under these Flash comments, I'm going to place my cursor, move into Design View, and I'll go ahead and use the insert, and I'll go up here to do it, Media, Flash Video. My Flash Video is going to ask me which Flash Video. So I'll go out and choose the Turtle Eating FLV. I'll choose my Corona Skin this time to be different. Detect the size. Go ahead and Auto Rewind. And I did cover these options in another lesson, so I'm going through it relatively quickly. I'll click OK, and I should have my flash fallback on this page now. So let me save, and let's put it back into Internet Explorer and see what happens. Guess what? Internet Explorer is now playing it, and it's working just fine. I'm getting my shark video instead of the turtle. So that tells you, and that's why I named it wrong, 
it tells you that this is definitely the flash file. I can also right click and see that it is the flash player playing. So that is Internet Explorer. Let me go out to Safari and let's see what happens now that I have flash within my video. And you can see this is the shark video. So it's definitely playing the flash video. If I right click, here's my flash player. So this is a Windows version of Safari and it is using the flash video instead of the HTML5 pieces we have inserted. Now what I'm going to do up here is give this a title of HTML5 video and save the page. So you do have some different options. You could see the OGV and the WebM were not used by my particular browsers, but browsers you have on your system may need them. The OGV used to be used by Firefox, but now we have some newer versions that are pulling in the other formats. But I wanted to give you plenty of options for working with that. This poster.ping is actually being used when the page first loads. That's the image that's being used, and it's simply a copy, a screenshot of the very first frame of my movie. So that's what's actually showing up when the HTML5 videos are playing. I'll go ahead and save this, but that is how you can insert HTML5 videos within your web page. You can certainly use the insert HTML5 and then go down into the properties area and fill it in, but I wanted to make sure you had this additional information up here with these additional files, these two websites so you can go out and start becoming familiar with the various browsers on your system and what they will support. So that is inserting HTML5 slash flash videos using Dreamweaver CC. Thank you for watching educator.com.